everyone. I hope you are doing good today. Today is Saturday, so I hope you had a great start to your weekend yesterday. Um, I did. It was a lot of fun. My, my husband and I actually went out last night just for a little while, a couple hours. It was so much fun. Um, we went to the casino. We only spent $20 each and we left with money. It was so cool. And we ate my favorite food ever at a new place, Fat Burger. I've heard of it. I have no idea how I've heard of it, but it was amazing and expensive. But it was a great night and very much needed. And today we're actually going out to dinner um, a couple towns away. It's called Oak Harbor. So I'm super excited. So I wanted, of course, to do my nails because they are plain and very short because this nail broke really short. It was bad. I don't even remember. Oh, you know, I want to say I broke it on a dresser. And that was not fun because I've been doing the my daughter's room. Um, they're getting new bunk beds and I'm like rearranging and cleaning again because the clutter has been bugging me. So anyways, I'm going to come on and do my nails. I hope you guys are doing wonderful and are having a great day. Let me know if you have plans or if you're just hanging out at home. Um, yeah, so I'm going to turn the camera around. This is um, what got the most votes. Some said both between this one and It Takes Tucson, the duochrome. That one's pretty. I'm half tempted to wear it sideways or this way but I don't know if it would fit my nails I seen somebody do that and I thought that was awesome then someone also said to put the mermaid scales over it but today I'm just putting this on so I have it just by itself and then maybe tomorrow or a different design because I have so many ideas I will put the clear overlay for that because you can do dragons or mermaids for that so it depends on what you like and or what you see I guess so till the glitter end it's a pretty sparkly pink and purple I thought this one sold out on the first day but it was like a glitch I remember going on there because I was gonna um, do a uh, buy three get one because my mom likes um, this one poppy that and then um, I just grabbed these ones because she wanted those so why not so anyways this one and um, turn the camera around and put them on don't know if I'm gonna do one hand or both hands so I'll see how it goes all right if you have questions or need help or if you'd like a sample just let me know and I'll be happy to get one out to you or answer any questions that you guys have so here it is a little bit closer it's from the new spring line really pretty hopefully it's nice and bright till the glitter end so first off you want to open it and then you just pull this down and that's like the best I've ever opened one of these I swear I'm glad I got that on camera and then you get your prep pad and a nail file which I'm going to use one of my old ones probably or my glass file because I just save these and put them in some goodie bags and then best of all the nails so exciting you can even do these ones sideways if they fit your nails too just for a different look and then this is my garbage pile I'm gonna set off to the side so first off you always want to open your nail prep pad this cleanses your fingernails to get oils and stuff off it's just rubbing alcohol and I have a bunch of scratches on my hand I swear I'm like falling apart lately I don't even know what I did that on you guys get scratches and don't even know why that happens to me all the time okay then you open your nails if you can find a little thingy if not, just use some scissors and cut. There we go. Okay. 
these are so pretty all right so here's your two sets that you get to find the perfect size for all of your nails this one I might use this one it's usually too big and I save it for my toes but I kind of like and that's a way to find your size also if you don't know that you bend it <clears throat> and you place it on your nail so see I think I'm going to use that for my thumb this time and this one for my big toe later on these are the three that I use for my big one my big one <laughs> my, my other fingers and my pinky so now I have those ones left over to give to my daughters throw away or use for my toes so I'm just gonna set that under there and you always want to start with your pinky first and then you grab this purple one you peel that grab the silver one peel that off the paper backing so now you have the nail polish strip in your hand take this little silver piece off because the nail strips um that's the difference between these and the pedicure is the nail strips have two sides to choose from and the pedicure only has um one side it's flat makes it easier for toenails and you always want to push your cuticles back you can do that with your fingernail with some warm water a cuticle pusher um or like i said your fingernail and you want to place it right below and then you press down on the side the side like this and if you have some that hangs over that is okay because you can just get it off and i think i'm going to use the other side for my pinky so i'm just going to press that under and get that off and leave that till later and see if this is enough should be my nails are pretty short this time so just putting that over there and if it doesn't fit all the way like that if it's not stuck down all the way because you do not want to peel these so see i ripped it and that is fine with me but you can stretch it. I sat on these because I like when they're like really um, flimsy and floppy. But if you don't like them sticky, don't do that. Because it will be a disaster and you will not like it. I like them when they're soft. Okay. So then this one goes on this finger. And if you want to stretch it down, you just pull it, pull that side. You don't want to pull hard because it rips. Then you just tug the front and push down to not get any bubbles. I am not going to save this one. I hope that's not blurry for you guys. I'm sorry. So there's that one. I'm just pushing my finger under and getting that one off. And then my middle Again, you grab the purple, grab the silver, and then take that off. So then you can put it on your nail and stretch down, stretch down that way, pull a little bit so you don't get wrinkles. I just fold under like that, press my nail under and take it off. Usually I leave them tucked under because it doesn't bother me for a while, at least till a couple hours. And then they either kind of just fall off perfectly actually for me um, or I end up filing because I feel something under my nail. And it bugs me. Or you can file when you're done with all of your nails. Just gives it time to kind of sit there on your nail. So there's that one. Again, I'm just going to tuck it under and press. So 
your thumb is always last because you can see I've been using it as a tool. So actually I'll save that one and just go ahead and do my other nails. So there's that one that I don't use, or I'm using, not using, using these ones, that one. I can never tell which one is bigger on these. I'll do this one. I always get it mixed up. That's okay. All right. So the pinky, like I said, if you don't like it like this, obviously you can just layer it over and I forgot I did my pinky so I'm just gonna get the really skinny one and take that it doesn't bother me usually because when I used to do nail polish I would go around my cuticle anyways with nail polish remover to make it look like cleaned up and really nice so it never never really bothered me when it wasn't that close to my skin but my mom when I do her nails she likes it all the way down so I have to double her strips because she's got really wide nails. So if that happens, you can just layer it and you can't even tell. Because my nails are super wide. Um, I get that from my mama. I think it's because they're so curved. I'm not sure. So I have to stretch these a little bit to make them fit which is fine it doesn't bother me because I just pull it down like that and then fix it and this one I'm definitely going to use this so I'm going to break it off and turn it around and then layer it on this side and go down stretch it to fit it and just rub and then pinch it off just like that and I'll show you on the this that has the side stuff that hangs over you can just do it with your nail if you don't have nails you can push it with where's the nail file with the nail file <clears throat> you can push it down like this and it will eventually come off if you rub it long enough, it also comes off. Um, if you have a cuticle pusher, you can press it down like this. You can take nail polish remover on a Q-tip and run it across as well. Um, there's different options that you can do. If something isn't working for you, just let me know and we can figure it out. So here's this one. And I think mine hang over a lot because I stretch them to make sure that they fit. Because like I said, my nails are wide. So there's that one. And then, there we go. I'm going to use the pinky one for this finger in a minute. Because I didn't stretch it hard enough. It sometimes worries me because my nails get sharp sometimes. And I don't want to rip them. So I don't pull too hard usually. Except in the front because I don't want wrinkles. So there's that one. And I need the pinky. The super skinny one. So I can fill that in. Because I didn't want to rip. So if you guys have seen the new spring line, you have to let me know which one your favorite one is. This one and It Takes Tucson, I think is probably my favorite. I love them so, so much. And then, now time for my thumb. Thumbs. So, let's take that off. And then place it down on the side. Grab this one. There we go. Then you just rub it. 
like this. Tuck under and pull off. And then how it has some on the side, I'm just going to press my thumb on it and take it right off. So with my last one, so I don't ruin this, I usually use um, the cuticle pusher. And if you need one, let me know. I will send you one. I don't mind at all. And this thumb, I broke the nail a long time ago. So I just get my cuticle pusher and act as if it were a nail and press under just like that and then peel it away and since there's some on the side again I just press it like that and then just get it off so then if you oh yeah I forgot about that one so, if you don't want that feeling of nail polish underneath your nail, since I'm all done with them, what you would do is take your nail file and you would open it because you're going to have the stuff underneath your nail um, like that, but it doesn't bother me. But if it bothers you. You open up your nail file, and then you file it at a downward motion, and then it comes off in a little, um, little piece. I'll show you. So, I think my pinky is the only one that really has any. So, I'm just going to file downward, and then that little piece comes off so it's flush with your nail. Just that little piece and there we go my nails are all done and ready to go out to dinner I am so excited I cannot wait and this one has some too so I'm just gonna go down like that and it fell off so there we go I cannot wait for dinner um, I'm so excited and I had to do my nails before I left. So here they are. I'm going to go take a picture so I can post them. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. If you have any questions, let me know. All right. See ya.